This next position will once again be from the collar sleeve position, but when my opponent forces us into a reverse de la Hiva style situation. So let's check it out. I have the collar sleeve and he forces my knee down and he steps over and now I'm in this reverse de la Hiva position. So if you would put a little pressure here yeah, and bring your foot back just a tad, perfect. Just like that. So from this position, once again, I'm always using my, my left hook here um, to keep nice and tight to the position because I'm gonna need this in order to extend him away when I enter the single leg exposition. So my shin as well is gonna be on his ribs. I personally prefer to have my knee inside rather than on the outside. So just keep that in mind. It's, it's, much, it's a bit stronger, especially when we're, using, we're gonna be using our knee to pull our opponent to the right. So from this collar sleeve position, well, a few things that we don't want, we don't want him to control our sleeve. I mean, excuse me, we don't, we don't want him to control our collar. So if he does ever control our collar, we're going to switch from the collar to the sleeve to break that grip as I extend my back away. So just keep that in mind. We always want, when we're playing this collar sleeve position from the reverse tail heave position, to push this grip underneath him. And as we're pushing this grip underneath him, how are we gonna get into the single leg X? Well, what we're gonna do is exactly this. We're gonna kick him to the left with our, with, our, with our shin here and our foot. We're gonna kick him to the left as we drag him to the right and see how I'm using my knee underneath my forearm to help with that drag. So I'm kicking him to the left. I'm dragging him to the right as I push this grip underneath his body, creating a lot of weight on this side, making him off balance. And he doesn't have a balance here, so he's gonna to have to bring his leg forward in order to, to maintain his balance. So I'm gonna kick him to the left, bring him to the right. I push this leg underneath, and now this leg is gonna be very, very close to my head. Now it's time to switch from the sleeve to the, to the leg, and I start extending him away, off balancing him, getting my right leg inside, and entering to the single leg exposition, just like so. And again, I can always keep off balancing him, getting him ready to get swept. One more time. So again, we're in this reverse de la Hiva, excuse me, we're in this collar sleeve position, pushes my leg down and enters the reverse de la Hiva position here. I keep my leg, my knee inside my grip here, and I start pushing this down as I kick him to the left, and then I pull him to the right, and look how nice his leg comes very close to my body. I can let go of the sleeve, switch the leg. Now I'm gonna use my left shin that's underneath his hips here, this left shin here, to extend him away so I can insert my body underneath him into the single X position, just like so. And again, once again, I'm always using my knuckles here on this collar to keep him facing away from me so that he can't pass. And then I'm gonna bring my right leg underneath into the single leg exposition. And now we're home. This position is really, really useful against those, those knee cut style passers that you're gonna see super frequently in your jiu-jitsu journey. So check it out.